Hi, I'm Blue from Hello the Future and also from Mink Car Cover, which is our full cover of They Might Be Giants album Mink Car to benefit the FDNY Foundation, and that is what I'm going to vlog about today. See, I am the same age as They Might Be Giants. Not John and John, of course, but the band. I am the same age as the band, and that is really kind of cool. I mean, you know, some kids got to grow up with Harry Potter. And I got to grow up with They Might Be Giants. Though, to be fair, for the first 14 years or so of my life, I didn't really know they existed. But when I was something like junior high, high school, I was sitting on this carpet. This, I remember the carpet. I don't remember how old I was, but I clearly remember this carpet. I was sitting on this beige carpet in my friend's living room, and her older sister came in. She's like, I've got to play this for you. This is the most amazing song ever. And she played Dinner Bell. And I was like, wow. And then I heard older for the first time in college at midnight after a very, very, very long day in a car. And that is about the best time to hear older for the first time after a very, very long day when everyone in the car has just stopped talking and it's so dark outside and you're going by and then this song comes on. So I heard older for the first time in college in September 2001. Now, I wasn't in New York or Washington DC on September 11, 2001. I was in Oxford, Ohio. And I didn't buy Mink Car then even though it released because I didn't have any money for CDs. and I didn't actually really start my Them Abbey Giants discography until after I graduated from college, and even then, I didn't have any money for CDs, so what I did, I bought one CD at a time, and I made it last for like two months, because I would only listen to one track, and I wouldn't let myself move on to the next track until I'd memorized the first one, and it was really, it was like the coolest period ever, because I'd be listening to this track over and over, and then finally I'd push next, and I knew whatever was coming would be amazing and wonderful and different, and it always was, every single time. But on September 11, 2001, I was in Oxford, Ohio, and... I was wearing this pair of thrift store overalls over a pink t-shirt, and I had just finished writing an opera, and I was going to go talk to faculty about producing the opera, and next steps, and blah blah blah, and we were in, I was in the cafeteria in the morning, and they were playing Kiss from a Rose on the radio, and then they stopped it for an announcement. We never produced the opera, but... We got to produce Make Car Cover. So, why did we do this? Was it a 9-11 memorial or a tribute to a band that is nearly 30 years old? <clears throat> Which is, of course, how old I almost am. You can call it that, but it is not why we did it. I mean, it's not why I started the project. I started the project because last year I kept hearing Jon Stewart talk about first responders and how they still needed help. And at the time I was doing research on the song I was writing called Really Awesome Johns, which was about how all the cool people I knew and admired were all named John. And so since I was on the Daily Show website, I thought I'd do a search for They Might Be Giants, you know, because it'd be John and John and John. And I came across this clip they recorded on September 10, 2001. The clip where John and John come to John's show and talk about Mink Carr. And what struck me about this clip was that it felt like it was the last clip ever recorded where people were still happy. And I know that's not true. I mean, people have of course been happy in the past ten years, but it was this strange little blip of a moment with John and John and John talking about how excited they were for this album that was going to release the next morning. And I know it's presumptuous of me, by the way, to speak about this moment because, you know, I only watched it. I wasn't there, and then I went and made up this story about it, but the story gave me an idea. See, Mink Car is my favorite of They Might Be Giants albums because it has the best music, and it's fallen out of print. 
and it's the only album of theirs ever to have fallen out of print, and all of it sort of came together in my head. We can't let this album go away, and we can't let the past ten years go away, and people still need help. So, we should cover it for the FDNY Foundation. And you know it's a good idea when you start telling people about it and they get really excited, and so many cool people got so excited about this idea. It's really kind of unbelievable, actually. Um, like, everyone whose music I love is on this album. And then the FDNY Foundation, they are truly the best. They're, they're just fantastic, and I'm so glad to be able to, you know, help them with the sales of this album. And, of course, they might be giants in New York. I mean, it goes together like they might be giants in New York. So, it all came together in one big circly circle. So that is it and the story of Mink Car Cover. It was an idea, and we made it happen, and now we can use it to benefit the FDNY Foundation. Thank you, John and John, for making the original. It's still my favorite. And thank you to everyone who contributed to the album, the people who made the songs, the people who did the album art, the people who put it on Facebook, the people who tweeted about it, and, and you, you're watching it, you're watching it, so thank you who is watching for watching. And I really, honestly, truly, amazingly hope that you buy Mink Car Cover. Because I've heard it, and it sounds so good, and because it's going to benefit the FDNY Foundation. And there you go.